World War II, the largest and deadliest conflict in human history, engulfed much of the globe between 1939 and 1945. It involved more than 100 million people from over 30 countries, leading to the deaths of an estimated 70 to 85 million people. But what led to such catastrophic destruction? And what were the lasting effects on the world? In this documentary, we'll take you through the key events, causes, and consequences of World War II. The roots of World War II can be traced back to the end of World War I. The Treaty of Versailles, signed in 1919, imposed harsh penalties on Germany. The loss of territory, military restrictions, and massive reparations created widespread resentment. Economically devastated and politically humiliated, Germany was fertile ground for radical ideologies to take root. Out of this turmoil emerged Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. Promising to restore Germany to its former glory, Hitler exploited economic despair and nationalistic fervor. By 1933, he had risen to power, transforming Germany into a fascist dictatorship. Similar movements took hold in Italy under Benito Mussolini and in Japan, where militarists gained control. Meanwhile, Japan, seeking dominance in Asia, began a campaign of aggression, invading Manchuria in 1931 and later expanding into China. In Europe, Hitler began defying the Treaty of Versailles, rebuilding Germany's military, and pursuing territorial expansion. The world was on the brink of another major war. The war officially began on September 1, 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. Using a strategy known as Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War, German forces overwhelmed Poland with a combination of fast-moving tanks, infantry, and air power. Britain and France, bound by alliances with Poland, declared war on Germany two days later. Yet, in the early months, they could do little to stop Hitler's advance. By 1940, Germany had swiftly conquered Denmark, Norway, Belgium, and the Netherlands. In June, France fell to the Nazis. The swift collapse of France shocked the world. Europe, it seemed, was at Hitler's mercy. Britain now stood alone against the Axis powers, but under the leadership of Prime Minister Winston Churchill, the British refused to surrender. The Battle of Britain saw the Royal Air Force fight off relentless German air assaults, marking the first major defeat for Nazi Germany. While Europe was engulfed in war, the conflict spread to the Pacific. On December 7, 1941, Japan launched a surprise attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The attack drew the United States into the war, transforming a European conflict into a truly global one. Days later, Germany and Italy declared war on the United States. The Allies, consisting of Britain, the Soviet Union, the United States, and others, faced the Axis powers led by Germany, Japan, and Italy. In the Pacific, Japan rapidly seized control of large parts of Southeast Asia, including the Philippines, Indonesia, and British-held territories. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, Germany turned its attention to the Soviet Union. In June 1941, Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, the largest invasion in history. Millions of German soldiers poured into Soviet territory, driving deep into the heart of Russia, but they met fierce resistance. The war now spanned continents and oceans, with battles raging across Europe, Africa, and the Pacific. Millions of civilians and soldiers alike were caught in the maelstrom of conflict. By 1942, the tide of war began to turn against the Axis powers. In the Soviet Union, the Battle of Stalingrad marked a decisive moment. After months of brutal urban warfare, the German Sixth Army was surrounded and forced to surrender in February 1943. This defeat shattered the myth of Nazi invincibility on the Eastern Front. 
Meanwhile, in the Pacific, the US Navy delivered a crushing blow to Japan at the Battle of Midway, sinking four Japanese aircraft carriers. This marked a turning point in the Pacific theater, as American forces began to push back against Japanese expansion. In North Africa, British and American forces defeated the German Afrika Corps, forcing them out of the continent. Soon after, the Allies invaded Italy, toppling Mussolini's regime. The Axis powers were now on the defensive. On June 6, 1944, the Allies launched the largest amphibious invasion in history, D-Day. Over 150,000 Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy in northern France, opening a second front against Nazi Germany. The liberation of Western Europe had begun. As Allied forces pushed through France, Belgium, and into Germany, Soviet forces advanced from the east. The German war machine, now stretched to its limits, began to collapse under the weight of the two-front assault. In April 1945, as Allied troops closed in on Berlin, Adolf Hitler committed suicide in his bunker. Days later, on May 8, 1945, Germany officially surrendered. The war in Europe was over, but in the Pacific, the fighting continued. In the Pacific, the United States had been steadily advancing toward Japan, island by island. But faced with the prospect of a long and bloody invasion of the Japanese mainland, President Harry S. Truman made the fateful decision to use a new and terrifying weapon, the atomic bomb. On August 6, 1945, the US dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, killing tens of thousands instantly. Three days later, a second bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. The devastation was unimaginable. On August 15, Japan surrendered, bringing an end to World War II. The consequences of World War II were far-reaching. The war left Europe and Asia in ruins, but it also led to the establishment of the United Nations, an international body designed to prevent future conflicts. The Nuremberg trials brought Nazi war criminals to justice, while new geopolitical tensions between the Soviet Union and the United States set the stage for the Cold War. Politically, the old empires collapsed and new superpowers emerged. The post-war world would be defined by the competition between capitalism and communism, as well as the decolonization of Africa and Asia. But perhaps the most enduring legacy was the memory of the human cost, the Holocaust, the bombings, and the millions of lives lost in the deadliest conflict in human history. World War II reshaped the world in ways that still resonate today. It was a war of unimaginable destruction, but out of its ashes, the modern world was born.